Ipidotero 888. <clears throat> this message is for Libra. Now you can have Libra anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Libra, this message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what it does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. So Libra, you starting off Leo season, baby. You opening the doors. You walking through some doors. I'm hearing, keep pushing forward. Don't quit. For a lot of you Libras, you guys are becoming unstoppable. Maybe you had a little bit of doubts. Mm -mm. But you're moving forward. And Libra, I keep hearing, do not fear. For I am with you. Wow. They want you to read Isaiah 41.10. Libra. This is the time where you cannot look backwards. They want you to keep pressing forward. And I'm hearing God will not let you fail. So if there's something new that you're starting, look at the bottom of the deck. If, they, if there's something that you're starting or that your intuition is pushing you to go forward, towards, or for you to do, spirit doesn't want you to fear. And I keep hearing God will not let you fail. And for a lot of you Libras, you're standing in this energy of strength, rebellion. And this is the good rebellion says right here. It's time to celebrate the fact that you don't fit in. Stand on your own two feet. Hmm. This is about to bring you success. So maybe it's around your career or just life in general. There's something that you're pushing yourself away. And I keep hearing God will be with you. Some of you guys are just, you're surrounding yourself with people that are not really supporting you. And when I hear God will be with you or the universe and they will provide and they want you to trust because this is what you have coming. You have abundance coming and it's like three different little signs. So some of you guys are seeing three, three, three is what I'm hearing. And it says being a thoughtful stork for the money you already have is the secret to creating more abundance. When you trust yourself to handle more that's when more shows up what is that going to require is you pushing forward we opened up your reading where it said keep pushing forward don't quit so some of you guys are on this journey and it might be it might seem lonely is what i'm hearing but god is with you is what i keep hearing and look, you have security all the way around. This could be your ancestors. This is your archangels. Look, all the way around, you have security. It just simply could be God, the universe. And you feel it too, baby. Put in the comments if this is you. Because I'm just hearing, child of God. Do you not realize how much God loves you? It's just, I keep hearing that. You not realize that. It says, true security comes from having a reserve of time, space, energy, personal power, and love. Make deposits in all of these accounts and you be a wealthy person indeed. So a lot of you guys, spirit is telling you to keep pressing forward, to believe, to trust. And I, I know a lot of you guys know God loves you. You can feel it. Put in the comments, God loves me. Put a bunch of hearts. And a, and a lot of you guys are wondering, okay, does he love me? Because look, you guys are on the fence when it comes to this. Some of you guys are about to get justice for what people have done. But for a lot of you guys, Libra, I keep, I keep hearing, you know, and, and it's like the universe wants you to speak up on this because some of you guys have this important testimony. I don't know why it's been coming up in these last zodiac signs. 
But there's something about your testimony. And it's almost like this. there's a decision that you know you have to make. Because some of you guys are being called to speak up about your situation. And it's almost like I keep hearing, does God love me? Even after all the mistakes I've done. And I'm hearing the answer is, fuck yes. Fuck yeah, he loves you. It says, sometimes the, the, the best decisions is decision no decision at all. But in this case, see, right be these two cards were right behind each other. Mm -mm, you're not gonna be holding back no more. You <laughs> it's about time you speak up. See, you stay you were stagnant. You were in a phase of stagnation, is what I'm hearing. But that's because God, the universe, was preparing you for this moment. And your testimony is going to uplift humanity is what I keep hearing. And it's like trusting your own divine purpose. Look, look at this. If you avoid conflict to keep the peace, you start a war inside yourself. So you don't understand Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Yes, you don't understand how much you're about to help people on this divine purpose. And I'm hearing your ancestors are cheering you on. Some of you guys, you talk to your ancestors constantly. Past loved ones, they're on your shoulder and you can feel it. Some of you guys will be outside stargazing. Some of you guys seen a shooting star just lately. Or you will be seeing one and that's going to be a confirmation that your ancestors are close by or a past loved one. But it's about time that you make this move. It says time spent worrying is time spent. So spirit is telling you to move forward with confidence. I'm hearing Proverbs 20, 24. And Libra, listen, listen to this very clearly. Okay, because the universe is sitting right there telling you, listen, Libra, you're not lucky, baby. Because some people might say Libra's so freaking lucky, but that ain't the case. I keep hearing this from your ancestors. The, the universe is shouting it out. You're not lucky. You're blessed, baby. Put it in the comments, baby. This is you because I'm hearing it. I am blessed. I keep hearing it. You're not lucky, baby. You're blessed. Look at this. Listen. They want you to listen. People start to heal the moment they feel heard. So your testimony is going to heal a lot of people. Look, there's something that you're about to move in. And I hear into your calling. And this you're going to have a lot of passion for. This card kept flipping around, flipping around until it finally came out. Look at this. Passion. Your heart's going to be on fire. It says, light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. Wow. Wow. And I was about to say, in, in love, <laughs> look at this. Good girl slash. And it's like, no, in love, you're taking your power back. I'm hearing this past person was toxic. You might have gave them a lot of love. And you showed real love. And some of you guys... That's part of your testimony is showing people how you overcame love, how you opened up to receive love again. Yes, you might have went from good girl to bad girl. But I'm hearing you took back. You started to balance out your your masculinity and your femininity together. It says the ability to suck it up is not a superpower saying no is owning your power. So some of you guys stop people pleasing, baby. And that's what's up. Mm -hmm. At this time right now, they want you to do your rituals. Some of you guys are doing some rituals to get, <laughs> to get your groove back is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Put in the comments if this is you. But let's go in love. Because some of you guys want to know what the hell's going on in love. Okay, they want me to use these little ass cards. All right. In love. Some of you guys were dealing with this toxic ex. Look at this. Toxic ex that wanted an engagement ring. You know, they gave you one. But this particular person was toxic. 
Some of you guys grabbed that ring and threw it at that guy, bum, bust him in the eye or something I'm hearing for a few of you guys. And they want you to know this particular person that you showed a lot of passion and love. It's almost this particular person that you guys, this is going to resonate for a few of you guys. This particular person, man, didn't value your love. They took you for granted. And spirit wants you to know that they are miserable. They are miserable. They want, they want to come back into your life. But there is separation right now. And this is from, from the universe. It says right here, have faith and love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting. Now, some of you guys deeper are saying, man, fuck my past. I want new love. And the universe is really responding to you. Mm-hmm. Disengagement. Partnership. Spirit realized that this you were dealing with the snake. Well, you know, the, the whole time is what I'm hearing is that your ancestors wanted you to know and to learn this lesson when it came to this snake, because some of you guys were just people pleasing. And it's when you took your power back and when you grabbed this ring and you threw this ring across, like I said, some of y'all threw it and it busted them in the eye. This particular person acted like you, it hurt them. They were crying because you hit them in the eye. No, you hurt their ego. This separation is really killing them. But they had toxic ways. They, they were just a snake. Malicious is what I'm hearing. And the saddest thing is that, look, the second time this card comes out, passion. You had a lot of passion for this particular person. I mean, insane chemistry. Look, right behind was love. But spirit wants you to know that jealousy caused this person to wrong you. This particular person didn't want you with anybody else, but the jealousy behind it was toxic. Some of you guys, men or female, put yourself where you belong. This, this particular person on purpose sabotaged this relationship, trying to get you jealous. They might've been flirting with the opposite sex, but mm-mm. That shit, you wasn't having it, Libra. Some of you guys, this was a twin flame. This was your yin and yang, but some of you guys weren't having this shit. And you know what? Your ancestors stepping in right here is because... <laughs> Look at this. Passion came upside down. What I'm hearing... Libra. And I was about to say Pisces. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Pisces. Some of you guys had what one of your lessons was to cut this soul tie. And I, I don't think they were counting on you cutting this or breaking this soul tie is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing if you guys are in the middle of dealing with this soul tie that has a lot of passion behind, but it doesn't go nowhere. It leaves you hurt. It leaves you drained. Damn, look, I'm over here dealing with this. Look, it, it leaves you drained, this card. Something about a palm tree. Maybe you're from Florida, but damn, hold up with my cards. You guys have an ancestor that's pissed. And they're pissed because of how they treated you. And your ancestors really want you to break this soul tie. This soul tie. Some of you guys are dealing with the soul tribe that you need to get out. And you have a new one coming but I'm hearing, wow, some of some of you guys are breaking this soul tie. And if you're being, um, if you're having a difficult time breaking this soul bond or soul tie, they want you to pray Psalms 91. And I'm hearing three times a day, but you got to pray it with strength, with heart, speak it out to the world. Go out to the park, go buy a palm tree, go buy a tree. Hug the tree and put your emotions behind while you read Psalms 91. And they said three times for seven days to break this bond. Some of you guys are going to have to do this energetic 
cord cutting. This twin flame, twin flame became toxic. Some of you guys are saying, well, what the hell am I supposed to do now? I want love. Because a lot of you Libras, you guys have a lot of passion. I'm talking about y'all don't fuck around. Whew, and I don't even cuss like that. But man, somebody's ancestors like, yeah, they dealt with the same situation where they gave a lot of love. And only to end up not receiving that love. It's almost like it was a dead end. You gave and gave and gave her. They gave and gave and so are you. And they don't want you. They want you to... They want you to put to rest that cycle of you giving love and giving love and giving love. And it's not equally reciprocated. When you break this soul tie, this is what you got coming. You got a soulmate. It's a soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. But you got to break this toxic soul tie. This particular person is jealous. They don't want you with anybody else. Libra, who the hell are you dealing with? Some of y'all, let me see. Wedding ring. Some of you guys were married to this particular person. Union, married, and it says connection. So this could have ended up, uh, ended up in a divorce. Man, let's get some other look. You don't even want to talk to this person. No love calls ni nada, ni a la chingada. Fuck that. You guys are saying, I don't want to talk to this particular person ass crack. I don't know who's talks like that, but damn, calm down. You know what? Let's change this mood. Holy shit. Libra, hit the like button. Let me break it. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe. Comment if this is you. And share it. And put it in the comments, baby. Break this mood, this energy, this fuchi has energy. Put on their I ain't lucky. I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. Put in the comments. Look at this. Look at this. You do you fighting all up in your head. When it comes to new love, you're about to close this cycle. This is gonna cause this particular person to come back. But look, I was about to say Pisces again. Some of you guys are dealing with a toxic ass Pisces. And I'm hearing you guys might have had a Pisces. If it's your sibling that could have came in between you and your spouse that caused this separation. Now they're sitting here reminiscing on Libra. Oh, Libra was my number one, my all, my day one or whatever they want to call it. But this, look, they're over here not even looking at their options no more. But you're in your king of swords right here, king or queen. Tara has no gender. And look at this. Mm -mm, you ain't, You ain't having it. So let's see, Libra, we're talking about new love. Let's get out of this. Some of you guys have to cut this energetic cord. Good Lord, man. This ex, this jealous ex just keeps wanting to pop back. All right, let's see. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Look at this. Mm-hmm, you working hard. Some of you guys ain't even looking for love right now. You waiting on God to bring it to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm hearing God will not fail me. Put it in the comments. When it comes to love, that's how strong you are in faith. Mm -hmm. Your courage. God is telling you to, you know, cut, have the, have the power to cut that shit off. That's like your third eye, man. Open it up and cut that shit out and go to work. Some of you guys are focusing on your purpose. And I'm hearing God loves you. And I'm putting... Put it in the comments. God loves me, baby. He will provide. But he's pushing you forward. So some of you guys will be putting love on the back burner and allowing God to bring in that soulmate, that twin flame or that, that soulmate is what I'm hearing. <sighs> Let's see. What else do we have? Let's shuffle one more time. They want me to shuffle one more time. And look at this. You guys, look, the universe is coming to balance this shit out. And it, you might be... Might have an earth sign coming towards you. Someone that wants to invest. Look at that coin. Look at that rabbit. That silly rabbit. All right. One more shuffle. Look at this. Putting those burdens down. Keep moving forward. They're saying don't look back. And look at that earth sign that's keeping an eye. Some of you have an earth sign that's keeping an eye on you. Secret admirer. All right. These cards fell out. Look at this. They want me to show you this. 
card number one. Look at this. You're going in deep. You're going in deep and just trusting your spiritual journey. No long, no matter how long this journey may be, but look at all this wisdom you're gaining. Look at this. There you are studying. Some of you guys are just on point, and I'm hearing your testimony, baby. Your testimony. Woo. It's going to inspire people to just go within. Some of you guys are being asked to journal. Look at this, what you have coming. Look at this. You have the four of pentacles. Mm -mm. You want, your ships are coming in. When it comes to career, when it comes to money. But look at this, when it comes to love. Some of you guys are going to be, this the four of pentacles. Some of you guys, you're being asked to keep this quiet when it comes to love. When it comes to love, just keep it to yourself. They don't want you to let the toxic ex know because look, this is what you got coming. Libra, you have somebody that the universe is telling you to keep it to yourself because you're about to walk through what? Through the door of value, baby. And you took your power back. Some of you guys, this is leading to marriage. Mm. Libra, let's see what we got for our spiritual as fuck message. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart, hit the like button, share, subscribe. And remember, you're not lucky. Be blessed, baby. All right. We're going to pull one out. They said just pull one out. And here we go. It says right here, you can learn a lot of good lessons from a few fucked up people. I don't know who needed to hear this. But don't close your heart up. Look at this. They want me to show you this. This card came out in two different decks. And you learned a lot from a lot of fucked up people. Some of them were real close. Some of you guys, it was even... <laughs> it was your inner circle. And you still survived and kept your, open, your heart open to love. That your ancestors are proud. And it says right here, take a moment and think about a major lesson in your life. Did your heart get broken? Did a friend betray you? Did that heartbreak teach you not to settle? Are you resent, resentment and self-reliant now because you had to be? Think of the fucked up person who taught you that lesson. Send them a little cosmic thank you, gratitude for the lesson. You learn, you learn does not excuse what they did. It does help you avoid going back in for the same lesson with a new fucked up person though. See? That is why I keep hearing to meditate with Archangel Michael and cut them cords. Some of you guys are dealing with the person that seems to try to communicate back with you and then ghost is you. It's because energetically they want to be attached to you. The universe is telling you to cut that motherfucker off. Oh, excuse my language. But that was y'all's ancestors. It's like enough is enough. You got something coming to you way better. And if you're having troubles with this, they want you. I keep hearing Psalms 91 three times a day for the next seven days. And if you can fast three days, put, put a lot of strength, courage behind the prayer with intentions. If you're about to break that generational curse, that, that soul tie is what I'm hearing. Soul bond. <clears throat> Some of your ancestors had a hard time breaking one in their time. But they're counting on you. And you are the chosen one, baby. And yes, you could do it. And you will do it. And again, you're not fucking lucky. You're fucking blessed is what I keep hearing. <clears throat> and my voice is going. 
They don't want you to know this message. So hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby. Claim this energy if this is you. Are you lucky? Put it in the comments. If it's a tarot, 888.